Daily Dose of Daryl entitled 911. It's more than a number. And today is our first live interview from beautiful downtown Graham. Get excited. This is Daily Dose of Daryl entitled My First Interview for the channel. Get excited. Here it comes. All right, now tell me your name and what you do for a living. Uh, my name's Mike Bowman, and I am a fire instructor. Thank you, Mike. Now, Mike, how long have you been doing this? I've been teaching Fire Academy for about 15 years. Well, uh, that's not a profession that everybody does. What, uh, what caused you to go into that type of work? Well, I've been in emergency services for 30 years. I was a Grand Police Officer, Burlington Police Officer. I was 911 telecommunicator, firefighter for 20 years in Hall River, fire marshal here in the county for several years. I retired and started teaching after that. With all that experience, I'm sure you've had a few episodes that stand out. Can you think of any right now? When I was uh, with the Hall River Fire Department, we were uh, assisting Fawcett with a mill fire in Copeland, and I ran out of air while inside the fire. Had it not been for my uh, certain type of air pack I had on, we called it the elephant nose because it had a hose, I was able to unhook it, stick it in my coat, and was able to get out. Well, that sounds like something you don't want to have happen every day. And uh, can you think of any ex uh, experiences you've had with say people that were involved in certain elements of emergency services where there were victims or something that really stand out to you as you think back? I can s consider the fact that uh, not only do I teach fire but I also teach CPR and the times that I've had to do CPR on, on individuals relaying that to my students when I teach them. Uh, it's good bad. It's a good bad kind of thing. Some we save, some we don't. Uh, what what kind of feeling does it give you when you realize somebody's uh, come back to life again? And have any of them ever got back up with you? Are you connected with them again? Uh, yes, I've had them, but not getting back in touch with me. But the feeling of watching someone breathe on their own after they've not been breathing, it's... Uh, it's a humbling experience. Okay, so what are some of the benefits that you have received from this line of work? And what are maybe some of the things that you learned that maybe you wouldn't have learned some other way? Really, I've, I've gotten a, a feel more of people. My faith in people has really, really changed. It's changed so much, even my daughter followed in my footsteps. She became a paramedic. Worked 911 also, and then now she works for administration with the Burlington Police Department. So it's the been it's been the people. And uh, what about uh, benefits that you've really gotten out of it, or other things you've learned? Not to give up. When uh, when it when it looks like it's worse, no, it's not. It's uh, it can get a lot worse. But yeah, it's. It's been the people, it's been the experiences. I wouldn't give anything. I just wanted to know if you had any advice or, uh, based on your knowledge and experience of what you might tell a young person if they're even thinking about some type of work in emergency services. I would tell any young person considering this, make sure they get a good education in high school. Pay attention to what's going on. There are so many programs now with community colleges, even uh, four-year colleges, that are offering some type of emergency services job positioning and training. And I would say, if they wanted to, go for it. With a high school diploma and a certificate from the local community college, they can start in the field. Once they get in there, there's always more education that is offered to advance. So the door's wide open. For anybody. Thanks to Mike Bowman for reminding us that 911 is more than a number. And so for this daily dose of Daryl, this number represents your emergency. 
and we all have one sooner or later. It also represents all the men and women who respond on short notice after putting in hours of training. Thanks to all of them. Thanks to Mike Bowman for sharing today, and thanks to you for following and sharing the Daily Doses. God bless you as you make a difference in life, for your family, and your friends.